game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Open is A.B., pulls, fires, scores! Alex Marcello does it again! Play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by Les Olson, your technology partner. By Provo Land Title. Buying, selling, or refinancing. Close with the pros at Provo Land Title. Also by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's time to play BYU basketball. Straight away, oh, Colby. No. Colby yes! for three! Colby Lee, straight away, down the barrel triple. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU and Utah State just about ready to tip. It's time for the starting lineups courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union for the home team, Utah State Aggies. The guard line looks like this. Marco Anthony, Raleigh Wooster, and number 22, Brock Miller, your forward. Number 34, Justin Bean, the junior from Moore, Oklahoma. And the big man, the center, seven feet, number 23, Namiyash Keda. Introducing the starting lineup for your BYU Cougars, Mark Durant. Backcourt for BYU's number 13, Alex Barcelo, and number four, Brandon Avery. Connor Harding, number 44, is your three man. At the four, number 33, Caleb Lohner. And at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number three, Matt Harms. That's starting five for the Mark Pope led Cougars. As we begin here from the spectrum, Barcelo with the ball to Caleb Lohner. Top of the key, wide. Lob down low to Lohner. A little give and go between Lohner and Harding. And that's going to be an offensive foul on Caleb Lohner. Went for the lob and ended up going over the back of the defender. It'll be a foul on Caleb Lohner, his first. I don't think they're going to call that a foul. I think actually Caleb got it, but he was out of bounds. And even though he went over the back of Bean, he didn't get the whistle. So just a turnover. You're right, no foul. Brock Miller guarded by Harding. Hands off to Kada. Wooster. Into the lane, turn around, fade away, rolls in, and Utah State jumps out on top, 2-0. BYU pushing the ball into the front court. Loner, the top of the three-point line, hands off to Barcelo. Barcelo releases to Harms. Harms to Averitt, angle left. Crossover dribble by Brandon, goes baseline into the corner to Barcelo, fakes the three, drives into the lane, kicks back out to Averitt. Averitt on the perimeter to Loner. Fakes the three, drives in the lane, takes it strong. Can't get it to go. The ball knocked off by Harms, but Utah State will come away with it, leading 2-0. Marco Anthony. Down into the low block to Kada. Kada with a pass right to the baseline to Justin Bean, who hangs and scores. 4-0 to begin this game for Utah State. Utah State certainly the aggressor early on in this one. Going right to the rim. Barcelo to Harms. Harms looked at the three. Hands off to Harding. Harding to Caleb Lohner. Lohner to Barcelo. Barcelo down in the low block to Caleb. Pass into the corner to Averitt. Nice. Over to Harding for a wide open angle. Right three is no good. Rebound by BYU. And they'll reset. Harding with the ball. Into the corner three for Alex Barcelo is good. AB for three. And that's $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union, and BYU pulls within one at 4-3. to three. Marco Anthony lost his defender. Barcelo fell to the ground, and Anthony, with a 15-foot jump shot, puts Utah State back up by 3-6-3. Three, three. Alex tried to take a charge, no whistle. Loner, straightaway three is good! <laughs> and Caleb Loner hits his first three of the game. Of the that's season. another Mountain America three-pointer. And his first as a BYU Cougar, and we're all tied up at six apiece. Oh, it looked really good. He looked over to the his teammates, said, I got it. Bean with the ball for Utah State. Baseline right. Backing in Loner. A kick out onto the perimeter to Wooster. Wooster drives to the baseline, pulls up from 10. No good. Rebound picked up by Utah State and Brock Miller. And it's a turnover. As on the pass, BYU picks up the steal. The Cougars pushing the ball. 17-10 to go here in the first half. It's 6-6. Averitt right under the basket looking for Harms, and Kata gets a hand on it and knocks it free. Another turnover for BYU. Justin Bean with the ball drives right into the lane to Kata. Now to Marco Anthony with the running floater with the left hand, and the lane is good. Utah State back on top, 8-6. to Loner 
the top of the three-point line. A handoff from Barcelo going left to right. To Harms, to Averett, still along the perimeter. Averett drives into the paint, kicks back to Loner, fakes the three, and now dribbles out of it. Harms will get the ball straight away three. His three-point shot no good. Rebound to Brock Miller. And the Aggies, they lead 8-6. to six. Anthony baseline takes it right to the rim once again. No good. Cater with the rebound, puts it up off the glass. He thought he was fouled. He thought it should have been an and one. He gets the layup, though. It's now 10-6 Utah State. Aggies really just taking it to BYU. No fear. Harding picks up the dribble, hands off to Harms. To Averett, angle right. Back to Loner. Another three on its way. Rims out. Rebound to Namiyash Keita. And the Aggies push the ball, leading by four. Anthony, nice defense there by Loner, passes to Keita. And now they'll send down to Justin Bean on the baseline. The jump hook is no good, but Utah State hustles and picks up the ball. Marco Anthony, a three is no good, but Utah State gets another opportunity, a quick pass down low to Keita. And he jams it in with two hands. And now the Aggies have doubled up BYU. It's 12-6 with 15-24 to go here in the first half. This Justin Bean wreaking havoc on the offensive boards. Got two tips there to keep it alive. BYU into the front court. Harding driving into the lane. Out to Averett on the angle left. Averett trying to find the cutters. We'll send it out to Barcelo still on the wing. Kick to Harms. Three. No good. Rebound, Justin Bean. He is an absolute rebound machine. And I did not intend to rhyme, but that's what he does. He is an absolutely phenomenal rebounder. 12-6 Utah State, and the Aggies have the ball. Wooster to Keita, handing off to Bean. Back down to Keita on the low block. Harms is there, makes the shot difficult. The jump hook no good, and BYU comes away with it down six. This crowd making themselves felt, and they're loud, and this team's driving off of it. Harding drives strong into the lane, spins, throws up the right-handed hook, and it's good. Connor Harding gets his first shot of the game, and it's now 12-8 Utah State. I like that from Connor. He's really, actually a really good postman. Needs to go to that more. You hear the crowd here at the Spectrum. Doesn't Kata. take a, a lot of fans. You just need the right fans. Absolutely. Kata with a pull-up jump shot that just barely hit the rim. Otherwise, that was going to be an air ball. BYU pushing the ball. Averett strong to the rim off the glass and good. BYU pushing in transition. Pulls within two. It's 12-10 Utah State. BYU settling in now a little bit. Nice, strong, aggressive move from Averett. Out into the corner to Wooster. Wooster a give and go with Kata. Gets the ball back. Defense cuts him off baseline. Kata pulls up from 10 feet and hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Kata with another shot, and it's now 14-10 Utah State. Barcelo for BYU. Cross court to Harms. Now to Averett. Averett, angle right, pulls up for three, rims out. Rebound Justin Bean. Bean crossing midcourt. 23 seconds on the shot clock, 13 on the game clock. A three by Bean is no good. There's nobody guarding him, so he thought he might as well take it. BYU comes away with it, down four. Harms to Harding, a little give and go. A lob down low to Harms. Kata gets a hand on it, knocks it away. Harms thought he was fouled, no call. Harms is gassed. Utah State taking it all the way to the rim. Marco Anthony, his shot does not go. Knocked out of bounds, they will say, off of Utah State. With 12.45, Utah State with a four-point lead, leading BYU 14-10 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Jason Shepard and Mark Durant for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball brought to you by Diamonds Direct. Lowest prices, three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. With 12.45 to go in the first half, Jason Shepard and Mark Durant with you from the Spectrum. Utah State, the home team with a four-point lead at 14-10. to 10. BYU with the ball. Barcelo will bring the ball up. Trevin Nell and Spencer Johnson have checked in, as well as Colby Lee for BYU. A lob down to Caleb Loner takes it strong to the rim. Does not get the dunk to go, but that is a foul. It'll be the first team foul 
on Utah State in our first free throws of the game. Bear still and Dorius in as well for Utah State. So a lot of new guys on the floor. That was a nice pick and roll for Loner. He's got to finish that. Just go up and dunk it. First free throw is good. 14 to 11 for B. Or excuse me for Utah State. Well, you made a couple threes to start, but then they've struggled. A couple free throws good looking from uh, Loner though. Cougars pull within two. It's 14-12 Utah State. Anthony crossing midcourt. Hands off to Dorius. Right now we have two players named Trevin in the ball game, one for each team. Justin Bean. Hands off to Marco Anthony. Nice defense by Spencer Johnson to knock that ball free, but Utah State keeps possession. Bean into the corner to Ashworth. He's checked in as well. Anthony gets the ball on the long pass across the court. He'll take it strong in. He'll be fouled and heading to the free throw line. Trevin Nell with his first foul and BYU's first team foul. Anthony, really solid player, was great in that tournament last year. Has not played particularly well so far this year, but looks good tonight. Makes that free throw. Whatever financial products and services you need to take care of yourself, your family, or your business, America First is here to help. To find out more, visit AmericaFirst.com today. 15-12, Utah State with the lead, 12.07 to go. Marco Anthony, second free throw, no good, and a rebound. One of the smallest guys on the court. And Alex Barcelo. Gideon George is now checked in for BYU. A little pick and roll there with Barcelo. A lob down low to Gideon George from Colby Lee. And it's bobbled out of play by George. Should have been an easy layup, but Gideon just couldn't catch it. Nice pass. All right, that's our under-12 timeout, 11.52 on the clock. It's 15-12, Utah State leading the Cougars on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. BYU football's undefeated season comes to an end. BYU gets down to the one-yard line with no time remaining. Dax Milne stretching, reaching, didn't get it. Coastal Carolina Beats BYU 22-17. to The Cougars take on San Diego State next Saturday at home. Jason? Thank you, Jerem. Play has resumed. Kata received the ball down low. It was about five feet from the basket. Little right-handed hook could not go. BYU had the rebound, and they just let it fall out of bounds. Gideon George again. He's having trouble just catching that basketball. Good defense by Colby. Had the rebound, and he lost it out of bounds. BYU had the stop and then turned it over. Stephen Ashworth will inbound underneath Utah State's basket. They'll get it into Kata, defended by Lee. Back to Ashworth beyond the three-point line. They'll kick it back out. And down to Kata yeah. right at the rim. And you're not going to stop that very often. An easy lay-in for Namiash Kata. Without harms, they're going to go to him every time. George to Colby Lee. Colby with a handoff to Trevin Nell. little stutter step. Nell to Spencer Johnson. Fakes it, drives in the lane, off the glass. Can't get it to go. BYU with the rebound. The putback, they'll say, is no good. A foul before. But I like the aggressive play there by Spencer Johnson to challenge them at the rim. A good move because even if he does miss like he did, it takes Kata with him to try and block it. You had two rebounders for BYU. Colby Lee gets fouled on the tip, so he'll get two free throws. First free throw for Colby Lee is up and good. This game brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Colby... Last game, as he makes two, only got a couple minutes, which was weird because he'd been starting and was not, must, must not have been a good matchup against St. John's, but he's out there to push on Kata. 17-14, Utah State. Marco Anthony still in the game for Utah State. He'll drive in the lane and send it right off the glass. Got to the rim way too easy. 19-14, Utah State. Cougars push the ball. Gideon George. The top of the three-point line. Hands off to Barcelo. The Cougars keep it on the perimeter. Now the ball to Nell. Back to George straight away. A give and go with Spencer Nelson. Nelson uses the pick by Lee. A lob down low to Colby. 
Nice, nice jump hook by Colby Lee right over the outstretched hands of Alfonso Anderson in the Cougars back within three at 1916. The outlet pass knocked out of bounds by Spencer Johnson. The Aggies were looking to push the ball. So Spencer almost got that one. Would have been a breakaway, but really nice move from Colby. He's got the best post moves out of all the big men. Anderson will inbound in the backcourt to Marco Anthony. Anthony using the screen by Kata. Dribbles into the lane. Guarded by Johnson. He'll throw down to Kata. Couldn't get a hand on it, but he was fouled from behind. And Trevin Nell, I believe, is going to be called for that foul. That's what Trevin needs to do. He came down from the wing on that lob to Kata. Knocked it away, but just caught a piece of Kata's arm. That's two team fouls for each team. Kata at the free throw line. Kata, a 70% free throw shooter. First one, rims in and out. 10-16 to go here in the first half. Jason Shepard and Mark Durant from the Spectrum in Logan. BYU coming off of a victory over St. John's back in Connecticut. Utah State has not played for eight days. Northern Iowa was the game where they picked up their first victory. Brock Miller and Raleigh Wooster have checked back in for Utah State. Second free throw by Kata is good. 2016 Utah State. Averett brings the ball up. Harms is checked back in for BYU. So Averett, Harms, George, Harding, and Spencer Johnson, your five on the floor for BYU. Harding on the perimeter on the angle left, down on the low block to Gideon George, backing his way in, turn around, fade away, no good, rebound, Kata. They had a matchup, but they doubled Gideon with Kata. He's probably got a pass out of that one. Raleigh Wooster. All the way to the rim, can't get it to go, and a nice block out there by Gideon George, who comes away with the rebound. Cougars push the ball. Averitt on the wing. To George, now to Connor Harding. A lob down low, looking for Gideon George, and that'll be a foul, pulling Gideon to the ground. See who they give that to. Brock Miller will pick up his first personal foul. It's the third team foul for Utah State here in the first half. So Brandon Averett will inbounds right underneath the basket. Inbound on the perimeter to Gideon George. Now into the corner to Averett. Averett dribbles left to right into the paint. Kicks out on the wing to Spencer Johnson. Johnson drives to the free throw line and pulls up and hits the jump shot. Big time shot. Left hand dribble. Took some contact. Bounce back. 15 footer. I love how Spencer Johnson is immediately ready to shoot. And his defense so far has been great. He just about came up with another steal. But Bearstow able to keep the ball. The hands off to Justin Bean. Back to Bearstow. Three from the corner is no good. Rebound by Averitt. And they're going to call BYU on the foul. Gideon George. When Bean doesn't get the rebound, he makes BYU foul. He was the only guy in there. BYU should have had that easily. Gideon George is going to check out. Caleb Lohner will check back in for BYU. You don't look at Bean and think huge rebounder, but, man, he's got a motor. He plays so hard. Marco hard. Anthony driving hard to the rim, and he's going to be called for a charge. Spencer Johnson, there's that name again. He's got to play today. Yes, Jason. he has. That's four team fouls on Utah State, and the home crowd didn't like it, but it was 100% the right call. 2018 Utah State with the lead. Loner. Defended by Bean. To Harms. Now sets a pick and hands off to Averett. Averett driving in the lane. Turns back into the paint. Back to the top of the three-point line to Loner. Now into the low block to Harms. Harms will dribble out of it. A little give and go with Spencer Johnson who pulls up for three from the angle left and drills it. And BYU with its first lead of the game. At 21-20. Spencer Johnson come to play. He is feeling it tonight. Brock Miller pulls up for three. No good. Rebound BYU. Pushing the ball with the lead. 21-20. Averett to Harms. Harms driving strong right at Kata. Can't get the layup to go. And Utah State will come up with the rebound. And in order to slow things down, BYU will foul. Caleb Lohner will pick up the foul. 
That's now the fourth team foul for BYU, the first personal foul for Caleb Lohner. Alex Barcelo will check back in, and Spencer Johnson, who came in and provided a big-time spark, will take a seat, and as you would expect, getting all the high fives from his teammates as he heads to the bench. Good strong move from the three-point line from Harms. Just couldn't get soft enough to have it fall. Utah State possession, down one. BYU leading 21-20. Wooster on the perimeter, down to the low block. Takeda goes reverse off the glass, right under the arms of Matt Harms for the layup. BYU now down, 22-21. Brandon Averett driving baseline. Defense cuts him off. He'll back it out. Hand to Lohner. Lohner with a nice pass to a cutting Alex Barcelo underneath the basket, but they have to retreat. They'll send it back out on the outside. Barcelo down low to Matt Harms, who got hit in the head. No call, but does put it off the glass and in for two. BYU regains the lead at 23-22. Really nice pick and roll there. That's the right spot for Harms. Nice pass from Barcelo. Bean defended by Caleb Lohner, and defense prevailed there. Jump shot no good. Rebound BYU. Cougars pushing the ball. Brandon Averett kicks it back out. Top of the three. Harms! For Matt Harms. Straight away, and Matt Harms gives BYU its largest lead at 26-22. Really nice. And getting it done on the defense, which leads to transition points arms in the in the secondary offense knocks it down and that's another mountain america three-pointer this time from matt harms marco anthony goes strong to the rim defense there harms gets a hand up byu comes away with it and brandon oh. Avery will go coast to coast and miss the layup oh. right at the rim and missed it he had to go with the right hand but he was so open it almost surprised him wow that's two points off the board wooster The right-handed floater into the lane is no good. Barcelo will come away with it, and the Cougars push it. Barcelo weaving in and out of the defense. Back to Harms. Harms picked up his dribble and sends it to the angle left to Harding. Harding fakes right, goes left, and will be fouled by Brock Miller, who raises his hand, wondering where the foul came from. 6.03 to go. BYU with a four-point lead at 26-22 on the Utah, on the new skin BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats. Here, once again, is Jason Shepard. It's now time for the Utah Port Producer scoring summary. BYU led in scoring by Spencer Johnson, Matt Harms, and Caleb Lohner, each with five points. Cougars shooting 47% from the field, 44% from three. For Utah State, 11 points. For Kata, the next closest score is Marco Anthony with seven Kata on the bench for a rest, though. The scoring summary brought to you by your Utah Pork Producers, growing responsibly in Utah for over 25 years. For more information, visit utahporkproducers.org. BYU with possession. Trying to post up Connor Harding, and uh, the double came. He couldn't get rid of it and ended up getting a three-second violation. Another turnover for BYU. 5.50 to go here in the first half. The Cougars leading 26-22. Wooster to Bean, and a handoff to Marco Anthony. Still behind the three-point line. Wooster looked like he thought about a three, thought twice, and hands off to Bean. Bean on the right elbow, backing his way in. Now courts, or rather, baseline. They're going to call an offensive foul down low, and I believe they'll call that on Trevin Dorius. Got a little too aggressive trying to box out. That'll be an offensive foul on Utah State. Not a not a long uh, rest for Kata. He comes in after one possession. They've seen enough. A different team without him on the floor. So BYU's five on the floor. Loner, Barcelo, Harding. Spencer Johnson is checked back in. And we've also got Richard Good Harward power. in. Yep. Alex Barcelo oh. from the corner raises for three and nails it. Another Mountain America three-point shot from Alex Barcelo, and the Cougars increase their lead to now six at 28-22. But down low away from the ball. Rich Harward knocks Kata to the ground, so they'll trigger from the baseline. Both teams with five team fouls, so nobody's shooting the one-and-one just yet. Ashworth inbounds to Raleigh Wooster. 
Wooster dribbles out near the perimeter. Now cross-court pass. Back to Ashworth, who raises for three and hits it. 28-25 BYU after the three from the freshman, Stephen Ashworth. All those Lone Peak guys can shoot threes, man. (laughs) Coming in, averaging only four points, and he got three of them right there. Barcelo down to Loner. Loner dribbles out of the paint. Out onto the perimeter to... Harding, who misses the three, and on the rebound, they'll call a foul on Loner. They'll say an offensive rebound, or excuse me, an offensive foul trying to get the rebound. That's a bad call. I'll tell you why. Uh, it was a long rebound. Ashworth is about 5'10", and Loner just tipped it, went over, tipped it over his head. So it looked over the back, but it wasn't because Loner's so much bigger. He was just tipping it to himself, but ref didn't see it that way. The referee is going over to the scorer's table to explain a few things. Now they'll give the signal to go ahead and inbound the ball. Utah State will inbound to Ashworth. It was a tough miss for open three from Connor. That would have been a big help. Ashworth to Kata, back to Bean. Bean to Wooster. Down low to Kata, backing in on Harward. Doesn't get the shot to go, but Big Rich is going to be called for another foul. That'll be the sixth team foul for the Cougars, sending... Namiyash Keita to the line. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Miss from Keita. 28-25 lead for BYU, 4.29 to go here in the first half. I don't know how I feel about uh, Stephen Ashworth wearing teal shoes right now. <laughs> That's rubbing it in. It is. I think that was done on purpose. Second free throw, no good. Rebound BYU with the ball and a three-point lead. Harms hands off to Barcelo using the screen by Harms. Back out onto the perimeter to Johnson. Down in the low block to Harms. Pass out to Barcelo. Drives in oh. the lane and pulls up from eight feet and gets it to go. It's a tough shot, a little fader getting knocked around. It's a shot. That score is today's finish of the game, brought to you by the BYU Bachelor of General Studies. <laughs> Be a finisher and learn more at bgs.byu.edu. He could have just leveled Alex Barcelo. They get him for it, the whistle, but he just, he just, he looked like <laughs> lineman against Zach Wilson at the end of the first half. Man, he just put his head it. down and just went into him. <laughs> a turnover for Utah State. BYU will now inbound as Gideon George checks back in for the Cougars. BYU with a five-point lead at 30-25. to Barcelo, cross-court to Johnson, fakes the three, drives strong into the lane, kicks back out onto the angle left. Harding Come raises on, for Connor. three, no good. you got to hit that open shot. Great play by Johnson. Anthony rebounds, pushes the ball to Ashworth, back to Anthony. Anthony driving left to right, blocked oh. by Harms, but I think they're going to call a foul before. Nope, no, block clean. Oh, they did. Timeout on the floor, 336. BYU leading Utah State by 5, 30-25 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. BYU football's next opponent is San Diego State next Saturday. The Aztecs up 26-17 in the fourth on Colorado State. Back to the spectrum with Jason Shepard and Mark Durant. Thank you, Jerem. Utah State inbounding on underneath their basket. Inbound to Wooster. A spin baseline on Brandon Averett, and Wooster gets the jump shot to go, and that pulls Utah State within three. It's 30-27 Cougars. Interesting wrinkle to post up Wooster on uh, Averett. Nice move. BYU into the front court. Connor Harding drives left to right. Out to Gideon George. He'll hand off to Averitt. Back to Harms. Cougars keeping it on the perimeter. Trying to go inside. Brandon Averitt, a little stutter step. Drives strong with the left hand and takes it off the glass and gets it to go. What a fantastic drive by Brandon Averitt. And BYU back up 5, 32-27. 2 42 to go. Wooster. Pushed out by the defense. They'll reset, travel. and they're going to call a travel on Marco Anthony, who just picked up the ball. 
and took a step before putting the ball on the floor, and he's saying sorry to his teammates for the turnover. So with 2.37, BYU with possession and a five-point lead. Barcelo leading the way for BYU with seven. Barcelo hands off to Averett. Averett, the last possession with a fantastic layup. Cross-court oh. pass to Barcelo, who drains a three, and that's another Mountain America three-pointer from Alex Barcelo. Cougars now up eight, 35-27. He's an assassin. What a shot. High archer to get it over the shot block. Down to the low block to Kata. Backing his way in on Harms. Goes baseline. Harms is there. Forces a bad shot. He did. BYU comes away with it. Nicely done there by Matt Harms to make things difficult on Namiya Kata. Just under two minutes to go. Cougars with an eight-point lead and possession. Both double figures here. A little crossover dribble by Averett. Hands back Looks to good. Harms. Raises for three. Bounces off the rim and no good. I thought that was going to bounce off the rim and go in. Pushing the ball up by Utah State. There'll be a foul, an offensive foul on Sean Bairstow. Got the ball and charged into the BYU defender. Fans don't like it because Barcelo wasn't set, but he lowered his shoulder and knocked Barcelo away. That's a foul. So another turnover for Utah State. Anderson will check out. Justin Bean will check back in for the Aggies. Gideon George inbounds to Barcelo. Barcelo dribbles over near Coach Pope to get some instructions and now brings the ball into the front court. Barcelo to Harms. Harms with a handoff to Harding. Fakes the three. Dribbles right to left to Gideon George. George, a couple bounces in to the top of the key. Pulls up no good. Rebound Utah State. Hasn't been Gideon's night yet. And he's coming off a nice game against St. John's. Anthony to Bearstow. Bearstow. Drives to the right, off the glass, no good. Rebound Gideon George. Cougars push the ball to Brandon Averett. Averett taking it strong. Defense is there, so he kicks it out on the wing to Connor Harding. Harding back to Averett. Averett to George. George with the handoff to Barcelo. Barcelo drives baseline. Be one one. Marco foul. Anthony is there, but not in time. It'll be a foul on number 44. Marco Anthony, the redshirt junior from San Antonio. And as you mentioned... Now 18 fouls on Utah State. So a one-and-one -one situation for Alex Barcelo. Big front end. He hasn't been great from the free throw line this year. Brandon Averett will check out. Spencer Johnson will check back in. Chance to go up 10 if he can hit both of these. First free throw by Alex. It's nothing but the net. Nine-point lead for the Cougars, 36-27. 56.2 to go here in the first half. Second free throw by nice. Barcelo is money. And the 12. Cougars now lead in double digits, 37-27. 12 points for Alex. Fantastic game for Barcelo. Bearstow guarded by Harding. Passes out to Bean. Down on the low block to Keda. Doing work. Kicks out to the perimeter. Another turnover by Utah State wow. as Raleigh Wooster driving baseline lost control and out of play. Kata turned away again. He had the ball in a good spot, but he just didn't want to go up over arms. Causes a turnover. It's amazing what happens when a seven-footer faces another seven-footer, right? Yeah, Matt Harms has, has <laughs> done a great job defensively on Kata. It makes all the difference when he's on the floor. Barcelo crossing midcourt. 38 seconds to go. BYU up 10 to George. George goes right past the defender and a running floater is no good. And George going for the rebound. It's going to go over the back on Justin Bean. Bad news is that'll be free throws for Bean. Yeah. The BYU will be able to basically have the last shot of the half. Both teams now with 18 fouls. So Justin Bean, the junior from Moore, Oklahoma, will head to the charity stripe for two. His team down 10. BYU up 37-27 with 30 seconds to go here in the first half. First free throw by Bean. Rolls around and in. Lucky on that one. Kind of a frozen rope. Hits the front <laughs> rim and backboard and in. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody. From burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality and a lot of it. In Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and now open in Harriman. 
Second free throw is good. And there'll be a 30 second timeout on the floor. We'll stay here. BYU with an eight point lead. And like you said, Mark, BYU does what it should. They should be able to get the final shot. You should be up eight no matter what. (laughs) If you're not up eight at halftime, you really messed up. But maybe you get a chance to get 10 or 11. They'll kind of dribble around, maybe get Alex Barcelo a high screen at six or seven seconds, let him do his thing. 30.9 seconds on the game clock. A full 30-second shot clock for the Cougars, leading by 8, 37-29. Jason Shepard and Mark Durant with you from the Spectrum in Logan. Nice crowd. And when the Spectrum, it only it only sits about 10,000, so 1,600 in a 10,000-seat arena is pretty significant. Most of those are students, and I, I don't know the science, but how they're how they seated the students but they're all together and they are making a nice sound they, they're they're rowdy as ever and making a really nice atmosphere here tonight feels good to absolutely be back in this environment full, like this full court pressure by the utah state defense johnson inbounds to barcelo 25 seconds left on the game and shot clock barcelo defended by wooster be content to just dribble this out if they'll let him so far they will nobody moving as of yet 12 seconds to go in the half. Barcelo calling out the play. Uses the screen by Harms. Barcelo into the lane. Back to Harms. A left-handed running floater is good. Two seconds. One second. A heave by Bearstow is no good. And the Cougars will take a 10-point lead into the half, leading Utah State 39-29. We'll be back with the first half recap after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. <laughs> 